Hey everybody, here's a little weather update for you. Not a whole lot to talk about locally. I'm going to start off by giving you a little update on the hurricane, which is now moving away from Florida, but its next target will be into South Carolina, it looks like. So we're going to update you on that. And then I'm going to talk about any impact we might see here locally from the remnants of uh, the hurricane. And I think we could see a little bit, but nothing major. And we'll just kind of see what it looks like here over the next several days. It's, it's a pretty quiet weather pattern. We're going to start by showing you what it looks like on radar. We can actually kind of turn this on down south. So we're looking at a couple of radar sites there out of uh, uh, South Carolina and out of Florida. And you can see the rain already now getting up there to Charleston area, actually not far from, from Myrtle Beach. And uh, we can kind of put this in motion and let you see the, uh, you know, see the circulation. So the storm is moving away. Ian is moving away from Florida. And now it looks like it's going to be headed up towards South Carolina. Of course, not nearly as powerful as it was when it made landfall yesterday in Florida as a very strong Category 4. They only go to 5, so very, very powerful hurricane. Here's the satellite image and the radar, and you can kind of see that the, the storm itself doesn't have a well-defined eye anymore, but there's a lot of um, cloud cover with it. The, the deepest convection is on the north side of it, and that's where we're getting some of that rain already into the Georgia area and South Carolina. So right now, uh, Ian is a category one hurricane with 75 mile per hour winds. Uh, we think it's gonna curve up towards about Charleston, uh, probably sometime mid afternoon tomorrow, making landfalls a category one. They are under hurricane warnings, anywhere from Myrtle Beach all the way down to coastal areas of Georgia. Uh, predicted to have winds of 80 miles per hour, give or take, and then from there, it kind of lifts to the north and will kind of diminish and then kind of get eventually pulled back out to the east and away from the United States. When it gets a little close to us, it could have a little impact, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But we do think that Ian will make a, a second landfall in the U.S. Um, tomorrow as a Category 1 hurricane, uh, probably near Charleston, South Carolina. Here's our computer model on this, and it did a pretty good job of depicting where it was going to go across Florida. We're showing it pretty much... Charleston and Myrtle Beach area, and then from there lifting north. You'll notice once it gets to the north, though, and gets over the land, kind of gets torn up, and then eventually kind of starts to move away from this area. But behind it, there's a big area of high pressure up to the north of here, and that, of course, is low pressure. And what creates wind is a difference in air pressure. So I don't think we're going to see any rain from the remnants of Ian. Uh, any cloud cover it will be, I think, small and mostly east, but the pressure difference was, is going to create some wind for the weekend. That's when it will be closest. So what you're looking at here is um, one of our computer models. This is forecast for wind gust. Uh, this is at about 11 a.m. on Friday. And it'll start to get a little breezy tomorrow, but not, not too bad. 15, 20 miles per hour maybe. This would be wind gusts now as we get into Saturday morning. Now we're talking wind gusts locally that could hit 30 miles per hour. And remember, <clears throat> the closer you are to the remnants of the hurricane, probably the stronger the wind. So we, we do show some wind gusts approaching 40 from Indy East and uh, you know stronger than that over near Cincinnati and Southern Ohio. So this is again Saturday morning. And now this is even getting into about midnight Saturday night. We still have, again, farther east you live, a little more wind, farther west less, you're farther away from the remnants of the hurricane. But around this area, we're still showing some wind gust over 30 miles per hour. So the weekend looks pretty mild relatively. It looks dry, fair amount of sunshine, I believe. But the thing you're going to notice will be the wind is going to pick up. And that will be um, the impact of the remnants of Ian as it gets close to this area and then starts to move away. I mentioned I don't think we're going to see any rain out of it. This is a European uh, model forecast rainfall for the next um, 10 days. This goes all the way out until the morning of October 9. You can see the rain comes up, gets into West Virginia, or Southern Ohio, then moves away and rain north. It actually doesn't show any rain here for the next 10 days. So farmers that are out in the fields harvesting, pretty good for you. Uh, Canadian model, same idea with the hurricane. It has a little bit of rain across parts, portions of the area, but it's minor. And then this is the GFS. Uh, out, again, 10 days, uh, the hurricane rain stays away. Any rain here looks insignificant. And we can take you with the GFS even out 15 days. This now goes out into the morning of October 15th or halfway through the month of October, it still looks pretty dry here. So farmers that are in the fields with the harvest, um, we right now we don't see any significant rain um, headed this way. So it's something we'll keep an eye on, but it looks like a fairly dry pattern into the first half of October. 
I want to show you this. We've talked about these maps before. These are the heights. Generally, the red and orange would be the warm, and the blues would be the cool. It's the thickness of the atmosphere, and you can, you can see the remnants of Ian there uh, near West Virginia. Uh, this is uh, Saturday afternoon. That's about as close as it gets to us because then it moves away. This is by next Wednesday. It's still kind of lingering, but it's moving off the eastern seaboard. And then I wanted to show you another map here. This one, um, we may get a quick shot. I think it's a quick shot of some chilly air back in here again, the tail end of next week. This is actually a map for um, a week from today, the 6th of October, where we might get a little shot of some, some cool air coming in. But generally, things look fairly quiet uh, for the upcoming days. So here's the forecast. And again, there's not much to talk about locally. Uh, beautiful day on Friday at 72. The weekend, a few clouds may get in. The remnants of the hurricane, you will notice the wind. The wind is going to pick up, so it'll be breezy. Uh, there could be some gusts, maybe 30 miles per hour, a little bit more. Uh, and then next week looks good. I mean, highs in the low to mid 70s, overnight lows down around 50. So uh, we don't see any frost potential in the next week. Uh, pretty consistent in the 70s and pretty dry. So a pretty good stretch of fall weather as we get ready to enter into the first week of October.